One of my guilty pleasures lately is watching videos of people claiming, for some reason, that the Earth is flat. Now, there are many, many things wrong with their so-called proofs, but I would like to concentrate on one specific argument I've seen repeated way too many times. The idea that the atmosphere should not exist on an Earth without some kind of a dome, since gases cannot be near a vacuum without being immediately sucked into the vacuum. Now, this argument shows really a lack of understanding of physics, uh, like most of flat Earth arguments, but specifically two points. First, vacuums don't suck. It's just a statistical result of the gas molecules being pushed more on one side than the other. The vacuum side don't have any gas molecules to push on the gas molecules. On the other hand, on the other side of the vacuum, there are molecules and they push the molecules, which means that they will experience a total force towards the vacuum or the lower pressure generally. Now, the second point is that, well, obviously gravity plays a role here. It keeps the atmosphere in a gradient of pressure. So you have the highest pressure close to the earth and it goes slowly to zero. And this is exactly what I want to demonstrate today. So I wrote a simulation in Python, which models the gas as being composed of spheres. And those spheres move around according to Newtonian physics. They can collide with one another when they do the collision preserves energy and momentum and they co can collide with the wall in which case their velocity will be mirrored by the plane of the wall i also added a cell data structure that is to reduce the complexity of the computation which will be needed later when i have hundreds of spheres which is about the maximum amount that my computer can handle due to the fact that this simulation is written in python which is not very computationally efficient so now simulating a gas with a lot of molecules. The first thing you can notice is that the gas immediately occupies the entire container. This is due to diffusion. On the right side, you see blue bars. These bars show a histogram of the height of the gas molecules. The bigger a bar is, the more molecules are in this area. If we remove the upper wall, we will see that the molecules will diffuse outside of the container and the density slowly decreases. Now let's just fast forward it a bit. And we can see how the particles really diffuse out of the container. Now let's do that again, except this time we enable gravity. Notice that almost immediately the particle distribution is the decay exponential with the height, which is exactly what we see in the atmosphere. And we don't need an upper wall to contain it. Now let's do that again, but we're adding another gas. And this gas with the purple molecules is heavier. Now, if we enable gravity and remove the upper wall, we can see that the purple gas immediately accumulates at the bottom of the container. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this very short video and I might upload other things in the future. If this thing works, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Have a nice day.